Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to the Jenkins Infrastructure Weekly Team Meeting. Today we are 20 February 2024, and around the virtual table we have myself, Damien Duportal, Hervé Lemeur, Mark White, Stéphane Merle, and Bruno Verharten. Um, announcement uh, before the weekly release. Let's speak about next week meeting. Meeting cancelled, as uh, three of us will be on holidays. So the poor Hervé will be alone managing the production. Um, so better to, to stay. So that means we will have to schedule for a two weeks milestone like we did during past holidays. Any objection or question on this one? Next team meeting will be, um, not sure about the calendar, so it won't be 27. It means we will see each other 5 March. Okay for everyone? Yes. I will miss that meeting as well. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Uh, weekly release. 2.446. So release uh, process successful. I haven't checked the package. Was it the package step? I don't know if it was successful or not. Easy to check. Usually we go to Jenkins.io. Downloads. And so the, it's successful. The container image is is not there yet as far as I can tell. Yes, which uh, is not part okay. of the package, absolutely. Um, I will, let's see the windows, which is the worst one. Let's see if it's mirrored. Oh, it's not there because it's not stable. Hey, of course they mean. Okay, we have at least, uh, we have three mirrors. Okay. Package successful. Uh, Docker image. So we had an, uh, there there was a, an issue. I don't know if it's me or someone else. Most probably it's me. I might have tagged last week on the wrong uh, commit. I've, I would uh, I must probably forgot to update my to pull the upstream master when I created the tag. So that tag was recreated. Thanks, Mark, for catching that and sharing it. That allowed us to quickly recreate the tag, which triggered rebuild that is expected because from jenkins point of view the the git ref changed and jash release republished and so the idea was to let that build finish before retriggering a build of 446 hopefully that the initial build created by the tag you created earlier today, Mark, uh, failed on trusted CI. I've added a message on elements. Uh, first build failed, waiting for 2.445 to be finished because of the latest, because we want 445 to be finished and the latest to point to it first and then the second build. If, is, does it make sense? Because I haven't finished my sentence. <laughs> Sorry. It, it does make sense. That's very reasonable. So, so 2.445 is still in progress or may still be in progress. And there's no harm in us waiting till, till we're confident in that. I, I was impressed that you recreated 2.445. It wasn't that far out of date, but but that's great. Thank you very much for doing it. I have added the steps just to be sure it's not uh, stuck in my head uh, in the thread. Great. So another uh, good trigger for us to see if we can find some time to work on automating that tag creation that will help partially at least because we, that would avoid the, the mistake I made because removing the human from the process would help. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't solve the 2446 build failing which requires us monitoring build status on trusted CI, which is a, uh, an, um, an upcoming topic. But right now, 
not uh, we don't have the capacity to work on it yet um, about the change log since Kevin is not there uh, I assume it will be finished later is that correct uh, finished already oh no you, oh, cool. the 2.446 change log yes finished later to be finished later today okay right is there something else on that weekly release to share to discuss is there any question okay do you have other announcements oh yes i have an announcement did you already you didn't you did you want it here or do you want it somewhere else damien no that's that's perfect here Okay, so Ampere Computing has donated two ARM64 servers to the Jenkins project. Two? Oh. And no, not don't, and that's the wrong, has lent. Donated is the wrong word because they're not our property. They they lent them to us, but alone is good. That's great. Um, and so they are, they will be hosted at my house and uh, we'll figure out how to use them most effectively. These are... Um, server class machines that are used they're similar to the machines used at many cloud providers already so we're looking forward to getting good benefit from these things um, we'll figure out all the details about how we get access what what's what are the security measures we need to do etc but we won't do any of that until early march when i return to wait early march and marks return from holidays to get started right so i'm just really pleased it's very very kind of ampere to donate the computers we've been we've been working with arm 64 server class systems since 2021 when we got involved with oracle in their deployment of arm 64 even before they announced publicly so the jenkins project has has been doing arm for a long time and and this is great that they're willing to lend us computers to let us do ARM without having to pay a cloud provider to host them. Absolutely. Um, I had a discussion with uh, Bruno earlier this week. Since uh, Bruno had that kind of discussion about the risk V or any potential server, uh, I wonder, and that's only an hypothesis, if we could find and ask sponsoring from a, a I don't know the English word. In French, we say a white room uh, hoster. So a company that provides the racks, the electricity, and the hosting, and you provide your own server that you have to manage remotely. And they provide you services that usually you pay for uh, instead of mark weight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the idea in that case will be we could benefit from these two server running somewhere that doesn't... Uh, uh, make your electricity bill explode, especially when we will start running bomb builds on it or something like that. <laughs> uh, that would help on the automation uh, and avoid depending on your ISP because same thing, I don't know if your ISP has a, a quota on downloading or uploading, we never know. Uh, maybe an ACP local server might help though. Uh, but yeah, that was just an idea uh, that doesn't restrain us from using those machines on your basements. But on the medium term, that could be interesting if we have a right. few in the US, that could be a, a way, because it's not the first time we have company ready to lend or give us servers. Right. Well, uh, and, and I think I think it's a very good, it's an interesting idea. I'd actually ask my ISP if they did white box hosting like that didn't oh. get a response but there are there are places like that and oddly enough not far from where i live is a large hewlett packard company facility where we mm -hmm. might persuade them to donate on a large hewlett packard enterprise facility where we might okay. persuade them to donate some physical equipment as well or lend us physical equipment and in either case having it hosted somewhere is a good idea i think we should explore it absolutely because getting it it's it, it, it's it's nice to get it out of one place and into a place where people care even more about hardware right but i yeah, believe we, we can, can have, yeah. march will be a way of uh, mark white tributing the server a few times <laughs> of course <laughs> yeah well and and there are still some things that yeah it's i, I haven't even power, turned the power on on the servers so there's there's much more to be done but i have yep. taken a photograph of them that's nice 
But yeah, let's wait for you being back from early days. And I want a validation from your wife that we can keep it working once we will have started the bootstrap process. Because uh, I run XServe, uh, Apple XServe and the uh, Dell uh, ProLiant on my basement, uh, student basement for one year and a half. And I remember the sound, not mentioning the electricity bill and stuff. And the vibration. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. but it's on the basement, so I assume it's okay for that part. But it, yeah, so sound, sound yes. there, there are already there are already noisy machines near it. So this is this is just adding to noise, not somehow new noise Perfect. where there wasn't noise before. Okay. But yeah, please don't break your electricity. <laughs> yeah, that, and, and again, it. that's 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 not yeah uh, i have to in the winter time i have to heat the house anyway whether i heat it with electricity <laughs> or with or with uh, natural gas i have to heat the house in the summertime it's a different thing fair but many thanks for uh, many thanks for the work you did uh, bruno and mark on that and the work you most probably will work on that area from uh, knowledge from showing off our usages from managing the relationship with Ampere, and from that that's really a huge win Thanks. Thank you. Is there any question? Is there any other announcement uh, you want to make, folks? Nope. Okay, so we can just have a look at the upcoming calendar. So 2.447 is expected to happen next week, February. Um, Nothing else to add on the next weekly. We have an LTS tomorrow, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. 2.440.1. 2. .440 .1. 2. So sorry, I missed her. 2.440.1. Tomorrow will be 21 February. Do you remember who is the release lead? Just so Alexander Brandes. Okay, so that will be early morning for us in the in the uh, Europe. Perfect. <laughs> Ex Brandes is really late. Um, Hervé, I believe you will still be busy tomorrow. Uh, my question is related on. Okay, that means by default we will have to design uh, Stefan and Hai as a release uh, lead on the infra part. Is that okay? Uh, Stefan, do you want to be primary or backup? Uh, it's in wet time in the morning. Uh, given Alex's uh, uh, night schedule, I would say early morning for us. To be confirmed and ask with him by the primary. Okay, so I can be the primary. Yeah, okay. You, you know I'm here tomorrow morning, so... Yeah, and I got your number. <laughs> You don't know where I live yet, but still. Mm -hmm. uh, Stefan is uh, lead, primary lead on infra. Damien second, uh, is backup. Okay. Is there any question about that LTS release? No. Um, remember, we should have fixed the issues as the weekly showed, uh, the issues related to uh, the file storage that someone in that room deleted a few weeks ago, and then uh, let the, his colleagues have to deal with the consequences. That should be fixed. That's so tomorrow wrong. You, you be dealt there. with that. Uh, you came back. Yeah, in the end, everyone, everyone find the culprit. <laughs> Uh, again, sorry for that. But yeah, tomorrow, if we have issue, that most probably will be consequences of this. But the weekly happen carefully. It's just, yeah, uh, we'll see. But that should be okay. Do we have announced security advisory? I haven't checked. 24 we January. Not. We don't. Perfect. We do not. And next major event, as far as I remember, we have uh, Scalix. Uh, it's in March. I don't remember the the dates. Yeah, and dates dates are not the scale scale in uh, in Los Angeles, and it's mid March, sometimes seventeenth through the nineteenth or something. Okay. Yeah, uh, Alyssa and Alyssa and I and Basel will be there. Alyssa and Morocco will be there. Cool. 
Any other major event, question about the calendar, LTS, weekly stuff? Okay, let's, so let's proceed on the work that we were able to finish on the past milestone. Okay, let me... Okay, I'm gonna go with what we have on the screen. It might be a different order than the notes and I will update the notes accordingly. Uh, we have two closed issues. The first one was to decouple incremental publishers from CI Jenkins IO. So two or three weeks ago, I don't remember, uh, we had a, an outage on CI Jenkins IO. Uh, the outage was all the build were marked as the first January of 1917, you know, the epoch. Uh, or somewhere in, and so they, they were the dates and build time were corrupted, leading Jenkins printing the epoch time by default, caused by something on the plugins that has been solved since then. But one of the funny consequences is that that breakage uh, broke the incremental publisher when a, a request for publishing an incremental artifact was sent, the service was sending an HTTP 4.0.0 as uh, coked and uh, reported by Uli. What happened is that incremental publisher was trying to reach a JSON file where there is a source of true of the permissions whose username was able to read or write which uh, Jenkins CI GitHub organization project. That was required to check if the, the user triggering or uh, the build was allowed to publish an incremental, uh, an incremental artifact. And it was failing because on the back end, so the, the error was 400, which is first a problem because that means the incremental publisher application is not good. It should have said 500 because that was a server side error from incremental publisher. But that's something I don't want to put my hand on. That's just the fact. And we realized that in fact, that JSON file came from by default CI Jenkins IO repository permission updater job on its master branch was archiving artifact. So with that job with no archive artifact due to the date time corruption, it wasn't able to work. That means if we put CI Jenkins IO down, incremental publisher is, is not able to work as expected. Most of the time, it wasn't a problem because usually CI Jenkins IO is the place where we request for incremental publication. So if it's down, you don't care. However, it's way better to rely on a file generated by trusted CI Jenkins IO and deploy on an highly available system instead of something on a public uh, system that could be easily taken over. If you see what I, what I tried to, to say is that it's not safe to rely for a permission source of truth on something that we consider not safe. So that's why we have changed incremental publisher to use report Jenkins IO published a report from trusted. So we control the supply chain here. Is there any question on this one? Makes okay. Sense. Second one, we had a discussion. So we had a request to mirror uh, uh, Atlassian public Maven repository on repo jenkinsci.org. So first, it was already the case. And second, that was a realization that Blue Ocean plugin was using ancient dependencies that weren't provided and published by Atlassian themselves. So it was somewhere hidden. So thanks to that discovery, uh, uh, to the dismay of the Blue Ocean maintainer, but thanks for them to the extra effort. They were able to bump that the, that dependency to a more decent version that should be now there. So no action expected, but a good reminder to update your dependencies from time to time because they can disappear from the public internet. Any question on this one? Okay, and for oh, the rest... Actually, sorry, so the, the Blue Ocean Maintainer was okay with the solution we chose that we're not going to publish those outdated, uh, non-public non or incorrectly licensed packages. Will we, the, 
the dependency has been updated to a current version of the Jira plugin. Yep. Great. That's what I, that's my understanding. Yeah, the bumps to bump parent, as I understood. Cool. Ah, okay. So that has the effect. Okay. So we can thanks then the Blue Ocean Maintainer and Basil for doing that huge uh, triage work then. Cool. Um, we had uh, a few user facing issue uh, closed for no efforts because yeah, uh, not related directly to the Jenkins infra, but there were more general question on their own Jenkins installation, which is out of scope for us. Any question on these issues? Okay, so let's roll with the now the the issues we are working on uh, hard with a hard work. Uh, um, following them, what I see on screen, which is sorted by priority. I didn't have time to sort priorities on the on the notes. So first one is replace Blobxfer by AZ copy. Uh, Hervé, can you give us a summary on the part you worked on on this one? And I will uh, share my part after. Is that okay? Yeah. So I've got the SS token generation from a service principal working. I implemented a script, um, some uh, bash to command to do that in contributors.jenkins.io pipeline to synchronize its file share. And I then created a function in our shared pipeline library with file share service principle, uh, allowing uh, us to just pass the as a credential ID, the file share ID and the storage account ID to retrieve a signed URL with uh, including the SS token with a short-lived uh, expiry that uh, set to 10 minutes by default. And this duration can be adapted uh, if needed. It can be passed in the parameters of the shared pipeline library. Um, I, I started to look at uh, implementing that function in Jenkins.io. Uh, doing that, I noticed that we're using uh, storage version one uh, file share for Jenkins.io, and that it's and also that uh, it's a uh, standard file share. Looking at uh, Azure portal billing, we noticed that um, most of the cost is related to the transaction, so we'll. Um, use this uh, Jenkins.io upgrade uh, to opportunity to upgrade this uh, file share to Chromium and uh, um, version to uh, storage. This should reduce the cost of this storage account. Uh, currently, um, it's 17, $70 per month. Ooh. We think that most of the user file share use like that will be in the same situation. And we might be able to replace them and reduce our costs. Nice work. Uh, just something to add, uh, just to let Mark know, we have an opportunity here around the SAS token generation to create a new plugin. So uh, because yeah. the work we are doing here is that we need a few shell commands that get a credential, a service principle credential from the controller. And right now we don't have other solution than to spin up an agent. The credential are serialized on that agent that agent run a few shell command, a script in that case. So that's why I have put it on a pipeline library. So we trust and control that shell script and this code. And this code generate a short lived token with the customizable parameters that I've mentioned. And then we have to retrieve that value back to the controller in a groovy variable. So we can use on the subsequent shell calls. Eventually, we could use, uh, we could improve the um, 
the pipeline library to say, hey, we stay inside the boundaries of the same agent. But still, that's that's still limit because we are using an environment variable which is not known from the controller. So we don't benefit from the masking uh, masking sensitive values. And that could be a great opportunity to say, hey, we don't want the agent to be responsible as a identity uh, to generate that token. But instead, we want the controller to have that responsibility. So user could only allow the controller to generate that short-lived token. And then the short-lived token could be passed to the agent just for the duration of the build, not requiring a concept of uh, localization or local, uh, local identity stuff. It's the same as the idea on what we can do with GitHub apps. You can specify the GitHub app ID and key. And when Jenkins run a Git operation against GitHub, it generate a short lived token named installation uh, IAT token, which is one hour token. And that token is, is uh, specified inside the agent environment then as a credential. So that's why I think there is an opportunity here to create a credential plugin that will be Azure SAS token or something uh, that could help user of Azure uh, and Jenkins on that guy. Does it make sense uh, or is it clear and does it make sense? It does make sense. So it's something it matches with that concept from the GitHub app, app token. Yeah, I, I think that's interesting. Okay, uh, back to the, the work. So Hervé uh, uh, has described the next step for him on that area. So then we have Jenkins IO. That means for each of the usual file storage, we will create a brand. So in that case, if it's worth the, the, the migration, create a brand new on Terraform. Once we have the brand new storage, that means we also need to migrate data and service to that new one and then update the update update the system so it can fill the content or uh, move the content already and then change. But we will have migration operation to do here. Uh, so yeah, that one might slow down the whole process. So let's see step by step, depending on the time, uh, because that might also create uh, outages on the services when we will migrate because we will need to recreate the CSI PVC in Kubernetes, for instance, for most of these services. Is that okay for you, Hervé? Did I forget something on your part? No. Okay, and in parallel we have, um, so AZ copy installation, AZ copy is installed and version tracked uh, on, the VMs, which include pkg.origin and the uh, agent.trusted. These two virtual machines are managed by Puppet. And they are they they are running blobx fair command to copy to file storage that cannot use the pipeline library, either because these are shell scripts running as cron tabs or being run remotely by something else, or uh, because it's using freestyle jobs, not able to use a pipeline library. So now we have added AZ copy next to Blobix Fair, and the work in progress here will be install the SAS token shell script from Hervé pipeline library in the VMs, kg.origin and agent. That's the next step for me which mean adding update CLI system that will take care of getting the latest script from the pipeline library on the master branch and update uh, a copy for these machines that will be taken over by puppets. So if we do a change on the pipeline library on that script, then updatedly we'll detect the change and propose a change on puppet that we will have a pull request to audit and decide when we want to release it or not. Does it make sense for everyone? Yeah, I was. I haven't. Uh, I didn't understood that when you, we spoke about it earlier. I, uh, in my, okay. I, I was about to speak it uh, when we, uh, uh, when we arrived at the UC help desk issue. But uh, my first 
intention was to get uh, the, uh, the script in the UC uh, repository and get an update manifest to update it too. But I didn't mm -hmm. understood that the script were, would have been present in the VM. Uh, so I haven't talked uh, about the update center and that's a good point you mentioned it because that could benefit from this. That's a good thing. Um, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, for which use case the use is a uh, uh, at least in the VM? crawler crawler uh, there is another one and f for agent trusted at least okay uh, the crawler needs it so update center will will benefit from it and pkg origin uh, for this one uh, because we run every core release and every three minutes, we run something that copy data to other file storage from the mirror brain user on that virtual machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Can you... I'd like to discuss this later with you. So not say because it will for the for the agent, it's okay. Time. For PKG, there is no other solution. Yeah. I really want to underline that yeah. there is yeah. nothing you can do for this one. So it's mandatory. So we have to do we'll it. That's what I said. Yeah, okay, okay for package yeah. okay because uh, because if we don't do that on package origin we cannot remove blob Sphere from here that's really mandatory mm -hmm. and there is no pipeline or jenkins involved here okay. that's a cron tab shell script every five minutes on the machine yeah but it's in Corolla. i'll just i don't want to take too much time in there but uh having the reference directly in the repository using the script seems easier to me to make the link that's depending on the assumption that there is a script imported from elsewhere than the script using it. No, but otherwise you will uh, create an issue again on PKG. On agents, that could be doable, like you said, it's not possible with PKG, because that means if trusted goes down or if GitHub goes down, we cannot have the update center being updated. We need the most minimalistic system to work. And that's why the update CLI mm -hmm. with Puppet will create a copy of the script that will keep track of the changes. Uh, I think it's important if you disagree that we have that discussion because that's uh, the core of the whole infrastructure here we are speaking about. So we need to solve that problem right now. You said that if GitHub isn't available, isn't there, I, I'm not sure, but isn't the crawler is requesting GitHub to... Yes, I'm speaking about... Report, so. I'm speaking about the seven script running on PKG. The crawler is a detail on agent trusted. I'm speaking about something that synchronizes data between PKG machine, which will be a set of plugins, cores, and elements that will be streamed to OSUSL, to archives, and to the file storage for Get Jenkins. That's the process which is run on each core release and every three minutes. As, as we want PKG to be the source of truth, we need it to be uh, invulnerable. Yeah. Okay. We can discuss if you want more details on this one, but yes, I please. don't. <laughs> I mean, we it's have to discuss this as a to... team. Yes, no, I yes. no, I think I think if you disagree with what I said, you have to to bring no, it. I don't now. disagree. I I I need to have more time to discuss this with you, but I don't think this is the right time to do this okay. because we are in meeting, which is already quite some time long, and I don't okay. I don't not sure we want to discuss. Within two hours, this detail or not detail. I know, I know it's important, but yeah. I, I mean, it's important as in the top level priority of our task. Yes, so that's, that's why right I wanted now, to discuss I it have right to now. Look at something and yeah. Okay, you need okay. this later. Okay. okay, but that means we it's utmost important, so we need to focus on this one as soon yeah. as possible. Sure. Okay, next step is Kubernetes one the twenty seven. Stefan. Uh, yes, what I did, did the digital ocean part. We did the digital ocean part. That was not as smooth as we thought. But the good news is that for now, we will be able to uh, uh, do the upgrade, the next one, as code directly. We, we were able to uh, get rid of a little hack that was uh, taking us back for, for this because we uh, upgraded, we bumped the Terraform CLI 
version to 1.7, I think, if I remember correctly. And that allow us to uh, to have a full as code version for Digital Ocean now. And the problem we we bumped in for not being able to uh, to uh, have the full uh, upgrade process was that um, we are having minor updates by uh, automatically done by Digital Ocean every Sunday, and the last minor one didn't went through. Because of a problem with the set manager, I'm short with a, a webhook timeout that was set to 30 and needed to be between one and 30. So 25 is good. So we had to um, fine tune the values for that M chart. And then the, the minor patch went through on digital send UI, which allowed us to have the ask code bump to 127. Uh, working after that, so we had we had one issue, and we took advantage of that upgrade to uh, kind of clean up the code um, as not needed anymore for the for the hack. Um, cool. That's all, I think. That's all. So next step, uh, no, uh, you also upgraded. Uh, you also work to have uh, kubectl updated. Yeah. Yeah, the kubectl uh, um, CLI uh, is now um, on the on the all-in-one agent, so uh, all-in-one image, which is used by all the by some agents, and um, that kubectl is no um, the source of truth is the is the image that we are using on the production, and uh, all the project using the uh, kubectl. Um, can now have a match on that version with the uh, update CLI. Cool. So as a reminder, it's used to run the kubectl exec mirror bit scan on the new update center uh, work that are with it. And not only, if I remember correctly, there's another one. I forgot. No, it's that's the only, there's only one. Yep. Sorry. Um. I haven't heard from some news. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My mind is rushing. Uh, do you think we will be able to start the upgrades of EKS uh, this week? I don't think so. Next step, upgrading AWS EKS. Um, delayed to March, is that okay? Yes, I think it's okay with the deadlines. Okay, yep, absolutely. So nothing else to run on Kubernetes 1.27. Any objection, question, things unclear? Nope. Okay. Uh, no, f no news on Jira update from uh, Linux Foundation as far as I can tell. Let's just check. Okay. So no news. So nothing to say on this one. Um, mm -hmm. So updates uh, Jenkins IO to another cloud. Uh, RV, I don't remember if we had uh, if we were able to run action or if we have to run some on this yes, one. I tried. Yeah, I started to. I've um. I've uh, uh, used the same uh, script content uh, and I put it in the. In the pull request uh, where we are testing uh, a data center. Resume work on I using generation. For this one, yes. We'll continue. I've made a, I've copied the script file uh, from the stretch pipeline library and I uh, Intended to update it with update key to be determined. Mine. Okay. Uh, I have to update, to create the Azure print service principle credential on trusted. Uh, last time I tried, I uh, I've got an error. Uh, I have to try again. Okay. Uh, when this test. Uh, will be done. I'll update uh, the main pull requests 
So we'll be able to ask Jenkins security to take a look at it. Extend. And then merge it and deploy it on production. Test it Try it once. on production. Okay, cool. Nice work. Um, I have something to add on the next step. Uh, migrate to premium storage. <laughs> Sorry, but we, we, we must. For this one, it's it will be the case, clearly, because transaction will be terrible uh, every three minutes. That's the same pattern as get Jenkins, are you? Yep. Transaction cost. Uh, I'm adding it. Uh, I don't know if you will have time, of course, but yeah, I know that's a part that you absolutely can do uh, without any risk for the production. So don't hesitate. Uh, if you need a prior task next week, uh, you can spend some time on this one as well. Any question, objection? Okay. Uh, next top priority task uh, was Infra CI on RM64. Uh, Stefan? That's on me. Um, I am still on, I think, the last uh, Docker image uh, that we use as, a, as an agent, uh, which is not the all in one. Um, this is the builder one. Um, that ag image is used uh, on both Infra CI and CI Jenkins IO. Um, my problem with that one uh, for now is that it's using um, the, the the builder is using a version of Ruby, uh, which is uh, not the one we have we have in uh, the only one, and we need on the only one an old version of Ruby to work on the uh, the puppet. Uh, build we're using. So I had to manage a way to install both uh, version and to have a kind of switch to use it. Um, yes, 3.2.x for now. And uh, then uh, I will work on an update CLI to track the new version and to match with the Windows version. And uh, we uh, we already had a Ruby three dot something on the ARM version because we use Vagrant that installed a three dot O version. So yes, work in progress. Cool. Then the next step will be not make yes. sure that all the all the tools. I'm I'm doing that step by step. In fact, I'm running the builds. Where is using which is using builder, and try to run the the build with the new uh, all in one, and check all the tools that may need or not to be installed, or or changed. So mm -hmm. step by step. Uh, just a note: since we did an effort in the past months on merging uh, the pipeline between CI Jenkins IO and Infra CI, so some project have two pipelines, some have been already been merged. So uh, this will create a temporary discrepancy between ci.jenkins.io builds and infra CI. We won't have exactly the same environment between both during a short uh, period of time. Is that okay for both of you? Yes. Is, is, that, is that clear? Yes. Hervé? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so there will be different roads to fix that. I don't have a strong opinion uh, because that will me, most of the time it will be case by case. Uh, one of the solution will be to start defining the all-in-one IRM64 templates uh, because we sh but that mean eventually having to check how can we run IRM64 workload on CI Jenkins? Say you understood that, yes. I don't think uh, we will have uh, that, that will be something to think for March. So we take note and we will uh, resume that process in March. Is that okay? Yes, I will, I will not think about that during my holidays, but yes. yes. And until you go to your holidays, do you think you will be able to continue working on this? I, or do I, you yes, want to... I, okay. I plan, that's, that's why I, I, I put that in priority. Okay. 
the new private Kubernetes cluster, in the new sponsored Azure subscription, I propose that we delay that one for March. Uh, the idea is to have these IRM64 uh, agents run on a cluster only for the first CI on the new subscription. I propose that we delay in March because we don't have a credits problem this month with Azure. Is that okay for everyone? Okay. Um, uh, a word on Golang parts, Stefan? Yes, I think this one you can sh you can move it because I think it's merged. Can Eric? Can I uh, ask you to double check since we uh, it has been merged? Is there something else to run for that issue, or can we call it closed? Because I remember that uh, wasn't there, uh, and both of you discussed that before the issue was created by Stefan, and you were oh, the, the version back. was already uh, up to date. Okay, so but it, does it looks like that the pull request from Stefan uh, would have avoided the problem? Uh... No, I have to look at it. Okay, so I propose that we close it until. Uh, it's done, or unless you think you will have time to, to review it before closure, Hervé, what do you think? Uh, I'll take a look. Okay, so you are responsible for closing it, is that okay? Yes. Okay. Um, close the above to be verified by Hervé. So I add it to you and it will be kept on the current milestone then. Uh, use separated pipeline and organization scanning for update CLI on Jenkins Infra. So we had an un unforeseen issue is that the GitHub check are mixed between update CLI, distinct jobs and the main jobs that could lead to problems. Uh, we have the discussion as a team privately uh, Monday. One of the ideas here that we discussed is that we might want to use our job DSL templating to create a custom uh, GitHub check, a bit like the update CLI Infra CI. The name will be static, will be Infra CI Jenkins IO, if I remember correctly. And the goal will be then to change the branch uh, checks. So the required check to allow a pull request to be merged wouldn't be continuous integration PM merge that can be mistaken to the update Lee, but with the new one. Uh, yeah, that one must be done this week because we had uh, additional issues with Stefan yesterday and today, uh, Hervé. Is that okay if we take care of at least that part for the existing jobs? And then you see if you have a, a subsequent action or continued separating jobs next week. What do you think? What don't uh, you I'm think? Sure you I'm have? following. Uh, I don't follow what you ask me. Are you okay um, for uh, if we take care of uh, dealing for the the new definition for the the checks? I've understood that part. I don't understand what you. Are waiting for me to do after that. Do no, you want to we, do you work on that first? task then? So first, do you agree on if we run this since you are busy this week? Yes. The the fixed the, only the fixing that issue part is that okay? Yes. Because we initially uh, discussed and uh, you said you will take care of that, but you have a lot on your on your thing and you will be alone next week. So the question is, is that okay? And the secondary question, since you answered yes right now. Is that do you think we can continue? You can continue working on this separating next week, separating the jobs for the next one as your net or the project, or do you think we delay that too much? Um, I can't say we can delay. If, uh, it, it's I, for me. It's not. A, it's a long term issue uh, on the flow when we have some time so i have okay. i don't know if we should keep it on the afra milestone will you I, have time yeah. to work on 
on this only one project. I, I can't respond yet. I think my other task will be done for first day, but I'm not sure, so I can't say really if I will have time to work on this long term issue. Uh, okay, so internet. we delay to March. It's not because it's it's because we need to plan ahead for one week. If you are not able to plan mm -hmm. ahead, you say no and you take less tasks. That's mm -hmm. the goal of that meeting. And, and even if it's in the backlog, you can bring it back if you uh, for, see that you got time. That's all. That, that, that's that's why my question, so your answer is no, that there is no... I thought you were working on it this week, so I, I don't... Ah, know. okay, okay, you, okay. You said first, I, we will take, do you, are you okay if we look at it? Then you no, ask me, the, do, the you steps, have, do you have time not to look splitting. at it? So it wasn't clear for me. It's not the same so, job. Okay, one so we, did, one we delay to March and we do the fix tomorrow. Uh, and we'll discuss this privately because it's it start to be a lot of too much misunderstanding on how we work as a team so uh update cli where is it it looks like the rest are things we need to close that meeting soon looks like it's too long to be concentrated so uh let's run the fix uh run the fix asap uh, and then delay to March. Okay, so since it's taking some time, do you see other issues in that thing that we shouldn't move to March because we don't have time? Do you see something that we should take care of at all costs? No, I don't think so. A blink maybe, but not sure. Oh yeah, true. Is it? I don't think it's. Uh, yeah. So we had first, we had an issue this morning with Epling. That's why. Yeah, we have an outage. So that's a team thing. That outage uh, must knowledge must be done because if it goes down, you you must have a bit of yeah, knowledge. Yeah, we need one next week. Uh, so outage today due to database being re-indexed. Uh, fixed. Uh, by setting replicas to only one to avoid concurrent database operations. So the problem on that application is does it, there is no shared locks. So sometimes during restart, it can try to apply migration jobs and that create locks. Um, we have to add a start probe. So that part can be done. Uh, to the Elm chart. So that, that's something that could be done either by us this week or by you next week, Hervé. But that one uh, should be taken care to avoid the, uh, other outages. Yeah, well, at least we need to, to create an issue. It takes care to, uh, it takes time to run. Uh, the other thing is uh, still working on cleaning up uh, corrupted records. That one, so the reason why it was corrupted is that uh, uh, all PostgreSQL documentation say there, uh, it's related to hardware issue. So there might have been something in December that happened that Microsoft didn't communicate it to us. Uh, early this morning, we thought that it could have been because of the replicas, but in the end that that should not corrupt the data. Worst case, we would have lost data with a server-side error, but not corrupted data on the database itself. Yeah, that would just push too much pressure, but, but no corruption. Exactly. Uh, the operation I'm doing shows that we can uh, go further and further on the data that the data set that we want to retrieve. It's not top priority, so no need to continue that part, uh, but not top priority as Daniel does not need this data anymore. So if we have other priority, we don't work on it. I believe that's what that's the part you wanted to mention, Hervé, because uh, we were all at the first time. Yep, thanks for reminding us of this one. It's just that the outage part was important to bring here today. 
um, for another another one, the the um, DLA building small plugins um, that should be solved by the the fact that Digital Ocean is now in Terraform one dot twenty seven. We don't, we have to check that. We have to re-enable Digital Ocean. Twenty-fun is okay on Dio. Wall Street enabling Dio agent on CI Jenkins IO to check if still if it is still slow. Uh, you will decide if you have time to deal with this one or not. I will uh, add it on the backlog. By default, is that okay? Yes. Delay to March. By default, okay. The others are minor tasks, so I will uh, remove them. Mm -hmm. Delay, delay, delay. Docs Jenkins, are you, is that okay for you, Hervé, to... Yeah, this is when I delay uh, since I, well, I have more important thing to do. Uh, I might take uh, some time to ensure that when we're querying the get the Jenkins.io and there are no mirror returns, it doesn't update the report. So you can see. Um, yes, this one. I thought we will find another uh, page to uh, get the information yeah. that will not depend on the. It's I can do the. Uh, for right now. You I think, think that both are needed? Not sure. It, it, not sure. I just don't update the report if there are just one result. Yeah, but if if there is only one. For the sake of clarity, uh, we should use get.jenkins.io as a source of proof. The issue with that is we don't have a way to automatically query the last war. That's because why we that... are using update.jenkins.io to redirect to the yes, last war. Absolutely, but you should not query the last war. If you have to spend time on that, the goal is to find a source of proof. Yeah, I think I, I think it's my fault, Hervé, because I'm the one who chose the wrong source of truth. No, it's no, no, it was there already. Uh, I don't. Uh, no, I I, I, yeah, maybe. But we, Damien is right. We shouldn't yeah. request the last Wow. Yeah, because latest is a pain. In, is is a problem for the for the weekly. So every every Tuesday that would be a problem, and you need to a patch, which is silly. If we if we find a page listing the 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 nodes of the mirrors, it's 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 done. It's just correct. Yep. It will yep. be simpler. It will be better. It, it it's it's good. Go for it. That's that's the idea. Yep. I believe we all agree. Or do is there something else to discuss on this one then? Okay. And the rest is okay for me. Delaying the others to March. Um, just wanted to check if we had new issue because I remember we had news. At least we have to answer to the person on uh, oh, Arian. Yeah. Uh, I believe Ari, you did the last one, but you are overworked. So is that okay if we take care of this one, or do you want to continue on that area? Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, we should take it. Okay. Um, uh, do you uh, do you see new issues? Uh, EKS cluster, that one will be moved to to March, so I don't include it today. Uh, the goal is to start consuming credit from the current subscription. And there is Do nothing have... with true gauge. Yep. Something else? No. Okay. So then I'm going to stop sharing my screen. 
so we'll work on the milestone. So see you in two weeks for people attending the meeting. I'm stopping bye -bye. recording. Bye-bye. Right.